Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of A Gardener's Journey Homestead. Today, I'm getting ready to plant my garlic and get the beds prepped so that we can get the garlic in the ground. I'm a little bit later than I wanted to be, but nevertheless, here we go. Let's get started. But y'all, before we plant garlic, we gotta clean out this bed. So this is the bed, as you know, that had all of the peppers in it, my bell peppers and all of my jalapenos. Y'all, I have given them to the end of October. They are still producing some, but much, much slower. I did already take four or five plants out of this bed and put it in my greenhouse, trying to overwinter it, but it didn't work. After a week, they were completely dead. So not sure um, if I did something wrong or if that just doesn't work. I'm not really sure, but you can see I still have some jalapenos here. So we'll get, go ahead and grab these and harvest those um, so they're coming but they're just not as strong but y'all i can't wait any longer i need this bed so the peppers gotta say goodbye and in goes the garlic Okay guys, I got all the peppers out of this bed. I've amended the soil. I've added um, some more raised bed mix. I also added some compost and I added some alfalfa meal. The white you see there is diatomaceous earth because I had a big old ant pile <laughs> right there. So I was trying to kill the ants. I had actually applied that earlier today because I knew I was gonna be out here planting. So next, it's time to get the garlic and let's start planting. Okay guys, so we're getting ready to plant the garlic. This is my second time planting garlic. Last year I planted garlic for the first time. I planted it on November the 3rd. And so I'm about a week <laughs> ahead of when I did it last year. And I harvested my um, garlic last, um, I mean this summer at the end of June, right? So I'm assuming I'll be around the same time. So I wanted to plant it earlier, but you know, life happens, busy. And so I didn't get to it, but you can still plant your garlic even up until November. So just as a reminder, I'm in Pulaski, Tennessee, which is zone 7A. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my garlic in the ground. So last year, um, a friend of mine gifted me garlic. She came over here and gave me garlic cloves from her harvest from that summer. And she helped me plant and showed me how to do it. So this time I'm a big girl. And I'm going to do it on my own. So I'm going to be planting three types of garlic. So let me show you what we have. So I actually ordered some garlic for the first time from Mad Rivers, Mad River Growers Garlic. And so I have um, a chestnut and then I have Georgian Crystal. So I'm gonna see how these two do and how they taste. I'm experimenting and wanting to try it. And then I'm gonna be planting some cloves from my harvest that I got this past summer. So you can see the garlic, some of the garlic that I have left from this summer. So this summer, I think I got maybe, I don't know, maybe 50 to 60 um, bulbs of garlic. And so we're gonna see um, if we can at least do the same, if not more. And I did a raised bed then, so we're gonna do the same thing. So I'll be planting some of my biggest cloves from this right here that I harvested this summer. And I'll be planting um, the garlic that I um, bought as well. So with garlic, um, obviously you're going to, um, down. You're not going to plant the bulb. You're going to plant actually the cloves. You're going to break this apart into the cloves. And you're going to plant the cloves in the ground. Um, you want to space them two to three inches apart and then you want to bury them four to five inches deep and then mulch it. Um, I've always heard that garlic is one of the easiest things to grow and me being a first time gardener, I would agree with that, right? So my friend came over and helped me last November she brought me the garlic, gifted me the garlic, and we planted it in rows. It took, I don't know, less than 30 minutes to plant the whole bed. And then basically I watered it and then it just did its thing. I didn't have to tend to it that much. 
it just did its thing. And before I knew it, I had um, shoots growing up. Of course, over the winter, it slowed down, which is fine. But as soon as spring and summer came, it started shooting up, growing tall. And um, I had a whole bunch of garlic to harvest. So it is one of the easiest things to grow. So um, I'm about to lose sunlight in probably like 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, and so let me know what type of garlic you're planting in your garden this fall if you've already planted so I can try some new varieties right next time. Let me know what you've planted and if you've already gotten yours in the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the ground before I lose daylight. Guys, so I planted the first row and I just want to come back and share a couple of things. So in that first row, I got 28 cloves of garlic. So my beds are four by eight. And so roughly I put them every two to three um, inches. And that was only three bulbs of garlic. Y'all look at this. This is pretty huge. So this is the chestnut um, red that I got from Mad River Growers. So I only use three bulbs and I got 28 cloves. And I still got a couple of cloves left over from the third one. So... A little goes a long way. Now, do you have to buy garlic from um, a seed store or a local or a garlic farmer? No, you don't. You can go to the grocery store and get organic garlic, right? Again, I wanted to try it. I wanted to try some different varieties that you can't find in the store. And so I'm experimenting to see if I like it. But if you don't have time to go and order garlic, because most of the um, garlic is already depleted if you're trying to order you know, online, most of them have sold out. But you can always just go to your local grocery store and get you some organic garlic and put it in the ground. It's going to do the same thing. So I'm going to keep planting. I did also want to talk about the different varieties of garlic. So there's a hard neck and a soft neck. So um, I have hard neck ga garlic and those are the kind, um, again, where the neck is. <laughs> it's hard. That's basically... Um, hard versus soft and then depending on what kind of climate you're in then um see what's best for your zone or for your region for me hard neck is is better so i'm gonna keep planting because it doesn't look like it but i probably got 20 more minutes of daylight Okay guys, I got it all planted before it got pitch black dark. So I can tell you, unless it just doesn't grow, I like the garlic seed that I bought. I especially like the chestnut. It had like maybe 10 to 12 cloves per bulb. They were a nice big size. Um, the Georgian Crystal only had like five or six cloves. They were huge. I mean, almost like too huge. It was hard for me to get them in the ground because they were so big. Um, but I got it all planted. And so I think I did five rows. Um, and so what I ordered was a perfect amount for my raised bed. I ordered a half a pound of the chestnut garlic, chestnut red, and I ordered a pound of the Georgian crystal. Um, and that filled up the bed, except I had, I used one, well, maybe three fourths of a row from the garlic that I harvested this past summer. And those cloves were tiny compared to what I ordered. So a pound and a half so I could get two pounds and probably, you know, have filled up the whole bed or next time if I want to do more than one bed, um, which I might do that the next time. We'll see how much this garlic produces. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of what um, what happened. I'm still thinking I may do one more raised bed if I can get my hands on some more garlic or I may just go to the grocery store. But I'm thinking about putting um, a garlic bed in my greenhouse. Let me know if you guys have ever done that or if you just only plant it outside. So anyway, I got it all done. I'm excited. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get some mulch and mulch it um, so that it has a covering over it. But y'all, that's it. 
thank you so much for going on um, the garlic planting journey today. I hope that you get your garlic in the ground soon. If you haven't already, let me know in the comments what kind you're growing. And also, if you like my channel, it would do me a great pleasure if you would just like, comment, subscribe, put questions down, and hopefully I'll see you the next time. Remember, gardening is a journey. Let's grow together.